Welcome to HSM Special. Today I have the honor to have with us here Dr. Robert Kaplan. As you know, Dr. Kaplan has been developing together with some other authors and consultants very important tools for management. The most known are the ABC Costing in the Balance Score Card. Professor Kaplan is graduated and obtained his master degree in electric engineering from MIT and has a PhD in operation research from Cornell University. He is uh, chairman of the Palladium Group and, of course, a well-known author of several management books. So, Professor Kaplan, welcome. Nice to have you here. Nice to be with you, Julio. Very good. So, could you, in, uh, in brief words, what is really the balance scorecard? What is it for? And uh, how it came to your mind? How do you research and decided that uh, this would be an important tool for companies and now for government? Well, I recognize in the 1980s that the financial measurements by themselves were insufficient to guide companies to success. Mm -hmm. That they were really measures of a past strategy and past performance, but didn't provide indicators of the future. So many companies might be creating a great deal of value by creating better customer relationships, by being better at quality and delivering on time, and by attracting and retaining terrific employees and giving them the skills they need uh, to create more value for customers. But if you didn't measure those things, you weren't sure, uh, you know, are you really achieving that? And in the short run, companies could report better financial performance by cutting back on training employees, by not maintaining equipment, by not improving processes, and by uh, alienating customers, not investing in customer relationships. And so we wanted to come up with a broader set of indicators that would better reflect the total value creation that companies experienced in a period. And we didn't want to throw away financials. They're still important. They measure success ultimately. But we needed to supplement them with metrics about what the best companies were doing in the short term to create future value. And so those were measures related to customer relationships. It was measures related to process improvement and innovation and measures related to employee capabilities and motivation. So you can think about the balanced scorecard as a more robust uh, general set of measurements that goes beyond the financials to capture the drivers of future value creation. Who, who was your first customer that applied successfully uh, the BSC? Well, the first uh, set of companies that came to us right after our article was published were, were uh, we had, there was an engineering construction company, a uh, division of Halliburton, uh, for how to guide underwater construction projects with their targeted customers like Shell and British Petroleum. We worked with a major insurance company, Signal Property and Casualty Insurance. We worked with a major bank in New York City, then called Chemical Bank, and then emerged with uh, uh, Chase Bank. And also mobile, mobile marketing refining in the U.S. So I would say those were the the top five companies. Pioneers. Oh, yeah, they were the pioneers. <laughs> uh, in fact, in our first book, uh, we talked about mobile. We called it Pioneer Petroleum. Right. Uh, to recognize that. But that was really mobile.